The second session, uh, panel. So this session will be proceeded in Japanese. We will begin the second session, panel discussion. I am Seki from Tokyo University. I will be serving as the moderator of the session. The theme of the panel discussion is required technology and anticipated issues on hardware for present AI and beyond. I would now like to introduce our panelists. From your left, Mr. Terry Higashi, Chairman of the Board of Directors, Rapidus Corporation, and Chairman of LSTC. Professor Tadahiro Kuroda, the University of Tokyo, and Director of the Lab. Professor Kazuya Masu, President of Tokyo Institute of Technology. Dr. Miyoko Watanabe, Standing Trustee, Nihon University, and President CEO, NPO Wood Deck. And Mr. Kazumi Nishikawa, Principal Director, Economic Security, Policy Minister's Secretariat, Principal Director, Trade and Economic Cooperation Bureau, uh, and former Director of ID Industry Division, Commercial and Information Policy Bureau, METI. The session will be facilita facilitated by Professor Hitoshi Tabata, Professor at the University of Tokyo. Professor Tabata, over to you, please. Thank you, Professor Seki. Based on session one, in session two, we will have panel discussion in Japanese. We have one hour. And as uh, introduced, we are joined by five panelists. For today's discussion, I have prepared these three topics. We would like to discuss in this order. And from uh, panelists, I would like to seek uh, opinions and comments. First, topic one. In the beginning, I've uh, explained the purpose of the symposium. The importance of AI is uh, recognized. Uh, there is no doubt that AI is important. But when we think about energy consumption issue, electricity required, resources required for AI lead to very serious problems. In order to process a large volume of data, uh, AI data, hardware technological innovations are necessary. Professor Kuroda, Professor Ono have mentioned in keynote lectures and touched upon uh, the bottlenecks. Inclusive of these, we would like to have in-depth uh, discussion. In the keynote session, uh, Professor Masu did not speak, and uh, could you uh, touch upon uh, this issue based on your uh, long years of experience in developing semiconductors? I am Masu from uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology, and thank you very much for inviting me today. How many minutes do I have? Five minutes. It is a difficult question. In AI data processing, uh, we use semiconductors, GPUs, and CPUs. And if you limit the question to GPUs and CPUs, then uh, algorithms and architectures, depending on these. And uh, I have been president of university for six years. I'm not uh, able to discuss uh, about these detailed issues. But uh, in the larger scheme of things, no matter what chips we have, uh, in order to do things digital, we have to consider uh, reducing power consumption. CPU memory access uh, is always a question. When we think of this, 
from uh, 1980s, a 3D LSI was uh, discussed. How to uh, produce a 3D LSI memory stack, logic stack, all of these ideas were discussed. Uh, for example, 10 years ago, it so happens that I was engaged in dream chip project of NEDO to create a 3D LSI. Chips uh, will be stacked, wafers will be stacked. We tried various technologies. We did try, and uh, we were uh, able to make improvements. Lasering a 3D in the uh, 1980s, uh, there was a, a very big innovation in uh, technologies by using laser technology. And in 2010s, we also were able to achieve some improvements. There was a substantial improvement in stacking of the chips. And CPUs and memories for AI chips, uh, what to do about the access uh, issue. Chip itself, wafer itself, uh, but uh, stacking of the wafer is now the question. Rather than considering this as a technological innovation, I think uh, it is rather um, a different type of um, question. If we um, become very creative in our ideas, I think uh, there are ways to overcome this. That is basically my position, that scientifically, we should be able to find uh, creative ways to overcome these problems. But the uh, key is to continue to make efforts. And uh, surprisingly, when it comes to technology, uh, you might have realized uh, that uh, we want to be the first person to invent or first person to discover. But uh, that first person uh, will have to spend a long time to realize this. In Dream Chip project, we w did not have any doubt that we will be successful, including those uh, uh, researchers in the project and uh, those who were providing funding. But uh, it becomes difficult to continue the effort. The ability to continue uh, making efforts is very uh, important. It is possible to overcome the technological technological challenges, but uh, the bigger question is the ability to continue to make efforts. Hardware, uh, technology, 3D, 2.5D, 2D, these technological uh, innovations were mentioned, and I think these will be important in AI, but uh, the real question is whether we are able to continue to make efforts. 3D, I think uh, people will be trying 3D, continuing on the past uh, experience, but a chip, uh, GPU, and wafer. In front of uh, Mr. Higashi, he might uh, scold me for saying this, but GAA and other technologies are developed, and I think in 2050, uh, 2025, 2026, these will be achieved. But I think uh, already next generation research and development is underway, but it is not very easy. And uh, funding issue or technological challenges, we are bound to face an obstacle. How can we overcome the obstacle? We have to be very committed to overcome those um, obstacles. In DreamChip project, we had intention to overcome technological challenge initially, but uh, we uh, went out of breath. I think the commitment to continue to s and uh, to see through the project is more important. As for technological challenges, Regarding wafer process, I think uh, some of the panelists might mention this. Inside the wafer, how to design is one aspect. And I think the next topic is uh, the environment. But when we think only about production, environment-friendly hardware uh, is what we have to develop. I'm sure Rapidus is already thinking about this. Factory uh, materials uh, and uh, in various aspects, we have to be green. How to make things green is always a constant challenge, especially materials. And uh, there is also other uh, aspects, such as economic security, and in uh, material, and in process overall, and in fabrication, we also have to think about the environment. This is also a very important factor, other than the design per se. Thank you very much. In the 1980s, Japanese semiconductor industry was leading the world, and uh, you have uh, covered the 
technological development since then, including Dream Chip project. Technologically, Professor Masu, you think that we should be able to overcome challenges, but what is important is the mindset and the commitment and the will to continue to make efforts. Technological aspect and also uh, environmental uh, burden aspect were also mentioned regarding the environment. As you uh, mentioned, uh, Mr. Higashi, uh, would you like to react to what uh, President Masu uh, discussed? I myself think, uh, uh, or I myself uh, have not been involved in the development of semiconductor. Tokyo Electron, at Tokyo Electron, I was engaged in the development of the equipments for semiconductors over many years. The development is um, a developing uh, cutting edge technologies. Technologically, it is difficult and there is always a risk of failure. We are bound to fail and we have to assume that there will be difficulties and failures Despite those difficulties and failures, we have to develop, and that is important. How to overcome difficulties and failures will lead to differentiating technologies. If it is easy, everyone will be able to develop such technology, and uh, there will be no differentiation. This is something that we have to realize, and that is uh, what I often told uh, my uh, fellow employees at uh, Tokyo Electron and do not be afraid of failing and continue to make efforts is what I also discussed at Rapidus and I only agree with what uh, President Masu said. In Japan and in my earlier speech, I've mentioned that Japan lost edge in logic semiconductors Economically, there were challenges, and uh, there were also other challenges. And uh, we had to make a reasonable decisions, rational decisions. And uh, Japanese companies stopped uh, doing business in these areas. But from long-term perspective, uh, the decisions were not made. The decisions were not uh, based on long-term perspective. That was the prob problem. Development uh, requires time. Thank you very much. Now, whatever the subjects are, uh, the Industry Academia um, government collaboration, of course, is uh, very important. In particular, in the case of semiconductor, uh, the uh, budget size is extremely large. and. Uh, in the case of Rapid, Rapidus as well, that uh, support by the government is considered very important and that will contribute to a long-term decisions of uh, other entities. And uh, that perhaps uh, I'd like to ask Nishikawa-san to make comments in this area. Thank you for the question. And uh, Professor Kuroda and uh, Dr. Um, um, and uh, I tend to speak too long, but uh, reaching a consensus in the society among the people, and uh, we were able to recognize the need to invest uh, more in semiconductor. We were able to make a consensus-based approach so far. What we discussed in the government um, quite at large is that, why do we have to work on semiconductor? My answer to that is that the Japan uh, re-transformation plan, that uh, redevelopment plan of Japan that uh, Prime Minister Tanaka uh, back then announced the plan, and uh, Japan was uh, fully redeveloped by uh, uh, having uh, bullet trains and other um, railways and uh, uh, flights as well. And uh, uh, we uh, enjoyed uh, the uh, prosperity, and one of these aspects is also underpinned by semiconductor. And I know that uh, you all know fully where, but uh, information um, and uh, 
communication will have to be integrated. And the software hardware both are integrated as well. And uh, in order to make a very good um, the AI development, a hardware is required and infrastructure hardware software are also integrated as well. Where the data center exists and supercomputer exists, that actually affects uh, the innovation itself. It's very hard to describe in a succinct way, but from the power infrastructure, uh, the telecom infrastructure, and the innovation and semiconductor infrastructure, all these uh, will be depend upon whether the digital transformation can happen at the at the earliest or others. So therefore, from that point of view, industry academia, uh, a business collaboration is one thing. And also, uh, Japan is a consensus-based culture, and we need to win a consensus among the people in order to make an investment into semiconductor by the government. It is not necessarily uh, the uh, government's objective to build a very strong semiconductor industry. Of course, having strong semiconductor industry is a very good. And also, we do not intend to make a strong um, software industry. We want to have a very affluent digitalized society in Japan. That is the objective of the Japan. And therefore, the uh, telecom and the uh, electronics uh, will have to be made in green manner. And as uh, uh, Professor Onogami of a Society 5.0 idea is exactly showing that the technology, uh, infrastructure, and supply chain, we have to uh, get everyone together to work on this agenda. And we need a consensus from the citizens of the country. And for the researchers and the professors in the academia, I graduated from the law department of uh, Tokyo University. We need to demonstrate and try to ask understanding among the people at large. Maybe my point is uh, wide at the point, but uh, I wanted to say that. Correct. Uh, so it, I understand that as long as uh, this industry serves for digitalization, uh, the government will continue to uh, support semiconductor industry. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about the next topic. So 3D stacking is one of the technologies uh, that uh, uh, Professor Kuroda mentioned earlier. So I'd like to ask Professor Kuroda, so in order to um, refine the uh, 3D stacking, top top level or bottom level layers, and what are the key technologies that we need? Thank you very much. As a Professor Maz mentioned, dream chip assessment was something that I specialized in the past, and there was a fantastic accomplishment in the researches, and yet um, nobody used that technology. But Retrospectively, uh, the uh, Japan is like a boiling frog that we have a lot of fats in our body. So we were able to do a lot of researches using the fats, but uh, as the temperature of the water you are in is rising, however, you never notice because it is gradual and therefore um, the, we didn't know, notice that what's going on. And uh, somebody like a strong character, like Mr. Nishida, uh, came suddenly, and then uh, he woke up all the industry player and the bowling um, frog um, uh, get out of the bowling water. And uh, the somebody like Higashi-san, um, corporate uh, businessman, uh, started to uh, work and try to address and transform semiconductor industries in Japan. That is very... Um, typical of uh, Japan. We are living in an island country uh, uh, away from the fallen nations. And when earthquake happens, everybody wakes up and everyone co cooperate each other and work on a particular topic uh, right away. And that attitude itself is uh, winning a, a great uh, reputation around the world. But that is uh, something that we always do. And what comes next is really important. If you stop investment and everything will go back to a scratch, and once you lag behind, it is extremely difficult to catch up. We had a frog jumping out of the boiling water, so we started to talk about the opportunities, and uh, Japan uh, was supposed to be uh, quiet in the world, but the global players are trying to invite the Japanese players to join their um, projects, and once we lost the confidence around the world or stopped 
、um, investment and also not growing well, and nobody around the world will care about Japan. And therefore, we need to stretch、uh, under this situation and we need to continue and make best efforts in this regard. And、uh, Mr. Nishikawa, being a bureaucrat, fully u n d e r s t a n d the situation. In order not、uh, to have a, a concern situation to happen,、uh, we need to collaborate with the world. And Japan should not be isolated uh, with uh, the、um, partners like US and Taiwan and others. We need to bring all capabilities、uh, of the strengths of、uh, each other. And then,、um, And then we need to、uh, make a partnership. And Nishikawa is trying not to bring the frogs back into the boiling water、um, and being complacent. So Japan seems to、uh, change a lot. And for such a Japanese people, in order to describe how changing that、uh, um, world is changing,、uh, the、uh, serial lining up of a、uh, um, planet is happening、um, in the universe. And that's what I always say after the end of the World War II,、uh, the、uh, homogeneity has transferred from UK to US. And that is now、uh, started to end and、uh, marking、uh, the Communist China of the、uh, uh, 80, 80th anniversary. Now、uh, there are points to develop the country to the other、uh, era. And uh, uh, it's a、uh, Uh, 50th anniversary from the r e g a n o m a x of、uh, economic expansion for five to ten years going forward, everything is poised to change. So, we entered into the era where highly uncertain and nobody knows what would happen. And the global economy have、uh, a concept has actually w e n t away, and perhaps、uh, the horizontal integration of the industry may once again happen. So, we have to be aware of the、uh, Emergency situation, risky situation once again, and we need to think on our own to、uh, take actions.、Uh, so, that is a very big opportunity that we have. Otherwise, we just end up being a、uh, being board、uh, flag. So, academics and industry and the government,、uh, we, I guess, I、uh, heard、uh, the resolution、uh, in the statement. And I'd like to ask、uh, is there anything that you can? Uh, expect beyond what had happened in the past? I would like to give you a completely different perspective. Yesterday, did you watch a TV program called Makaizo? And uh, uh, the Tokyo Institute of Technology was invited for that program. And、uh, we made some advertisement, but Pinasonic was、uh, shown in that program. And uh, uh, I joined t w e e t The Sonic in 2008, and I was never told that I should take on a challenge. So, at the time of a Lehman crisis, I joined、uh, the Pinasonic. So, we needed to do a research and development activities that is guaranteed for success. So, Tax Gator, which is、uh, only dedicated for running, and nobody asks us about the objectives. And、uh, technology uh, development should、uh, be failing, and it doesn't matter whether it is a fail or success, but such a great challenge is now being made. And the, te- <clears throat> the researchers around the country i s eager for, very hungry for opportunity and research efforts, which means that there's a very good opportunity. Well, when we start to talk about the emergency situation, and sometimes it is not very good. So it seems that there are pented up、uh, energy in, in, among the Japanese researchers. So this is a great opportunity that they can exercise the power quite well. So in the Makaizo program, Pinasonic was discussed. So I just uh, uh, remember that this situation. So, you might、uh, perplex about semiconductor now, but you are being a part of semiconductor industry. You have to. Realize your ambitions. You are、uh, facing a great opportunity to realize your dream. Thank you. Thank you for a very encouraging comment. Would,、uh, would you like to react to that? Yes, please. Almost every month, we have a、um, ceremony to welcome employees who newly join us. And about 30 people join every month. And the average age of people who join Rapidus, do you know how old they are? The average age is 50 for our new employees. You might think 50 years old, they are old. But these people who are 50 years of age 
have experienced the history as follows. In around 1990s, they were in Japan when Japan was number one, when Japan had about 50% market share, and these people were in their 20s and joined semiconductor industry. Those people saw Japan shrinking and some went to other countries or some went to other companies or some continued to work in the declining semiconductor industry. Now they are joining Rapidus. When they heard that Rapidus is established, they saw an opportunity and they are joining us. What I am trying to say is these people who are joining Rapidus are very excited and have very strong um, intent to achieve outcomes. At the ceremony to welcome new employees, I give a speech. When I was in my 20s, 30s, or 40s, it was an age when semiconductor was growing, and semiconductor was a good uh, industry that is very well fit for Japan. And we had, uh, we saw only bright future, and it was uh, worth uh, making efforts and uh, working in the industry. That is how I felt in my 20s to 40s. And we have to hand over to the next generation, and I ask them to work together, uh, and they nod listening to my speech. Semiconductor is uh, once again uh, in uh, this uh, environment, and uh, please have uh, high expectations. This is the graph I've, uh, I saw earlier. Electricity consumption will be explosively growing. We have to anticipate this. METI also has an agency for natural resources and develops energy basic plan. With clean energy, we have to satisfy the future demand. That is important. When we revise the next energy basic plan, we cannot ignore energy consumption due to AI. GX and DX will both have to be pursued. And semiconductor and digital computing performance uh, have to be enhanced. Otherwise, it's not possible. Social challenges, you might think clean, green, GX. People are uh, focused on these, but uh, those are supported by uh, semiconductor and digital. Yes, please. Mr. Higashi said that people in the 50s are joining Rapidus. These people uh, know when Japan was stronger, and in order to uh, turn the baton over to the next generation, they are working at Rapidus. I have high hopes for them, and uh, they, like uh, the world of uh, nanotechnology, 10 to the negative 8th, 10 to the negative 15th, and they want to reduce cost uh, for mass production. They were good at uh, reducing cost for mass production, but next generation are AI native people. They were born with AI and using AI throughout their life. And I think uh, they are living in a different world, 10 to the 18th. And uh, if uh, one trillion transistors are available, there are things that they would like to do and if we ask them what they want to do with uh, so many transistors, they will come up with all, all of uh, crazy ideas, all different crazy ideas. And 10 to the negative uh, uh, 18 uh, th uh, power people, uh, I hope uh, the capabilities of these uh, people in their 50s will be handed over to younger people who have creative ideas. Democratization is the word used to describe this. Semiconductors should be used by more people to implement ideas in the society. That was not the common sense in the uh, industry before. It's on the, only an ideal and it will not be profitable. So uh, research was conducted in universities and Agile X tenure plan was started by METI focusing on researchers. 
and uh, researchers do prototyping and uh, economy is not the focus and uh, chip was uh, researched but industry took interest in this and uh, platform uh, at the university is uh, gaining attention from industry. What is more interesting is uh, when we visit Silicon Valley, there are groups called Silicon Catalysts. They are using silicon and uh, using silicon as a catalyst. Ideas are mingled uh, to create innovation and ultimately it leads to social implementation. It's very clever from PowerPoint to prototype. That is how they express this uh, pitch uh, will be made to investors using PowerPoint, but uh, quickly prototype will be created to show the ideas, even though it has not been mass produced. Idea can be shown with prototype and there is an ecosystem to support this. Investors are also involved in investors, re investors recoup investment, creating a virtuous cycle. I would like to see that happen in Japan. And if we can do so, Rapidus uh, will be able to hand over to the next AI native generation. Thank you. The purpose of the symposium is uh, to look at the um, hardware and device that support AI. And uh, Mr. Nishikawa uh, mentioned the importance of the device and hardware and semiconductors. Uh, to begin with, uh, why are they necessary? And uh, to as an environment to support uh, these, what do we have to have in the environment uh, to produce a semiconductor? I believe we were able to have very uh, insightful suggestions. Now we would like to move on to topic two. We have various challenges Japan faces various challenges. If we focus on semiconductor, we are seeing again an opportunity, but at the same time, environment, uh, demographic change are also important challenges. Semiconductor might help us address those challenges. So, uh, Dr. Watanabe, uh, could you offer your comment? Thank you. Thank you very much. I am Watanabe. Uh, I was engaged in the development of semiconductors in my 20s to early 40s, and uh, but more recently, my work concerns technology in general and business management. President Masu said, continuity is important, commitment is important. In that sense, uh, my career path uh, was not necessarily that of um, continuous commitment. When I was younger, in the 1980s to 1990s, as many of you uh, have mentioned, uh, many panelists have mentioned, semiconductor was uh, the center of industry in Japan, and Japan was leading uh, the world centering around semiconductors. And I was uh, engaged in research and development of semiconductor back then. In order to do research, back then, universities were not able to afford expensive equipments. Rather, companies were able to use large equipments and various experiments were possible in the corporate sector. Younger people may not know of this, but uh, those were the days. And uh, so there is a huge difference uh, between now and back then. When I compare today and the past, I think there are some major changes surrounding uh, the uh, research and development. I would like to touch upon those changes, and I would like to discuss three changes. The first is environmental problem. In the 1980s and 1990s, only a handful of people saw environmental problem as a serious problem. Some others felt that it is going to be more important in the future. Mass consumption, mass production, mass waste disposal were considered the engine of the economy. And based on that notion, we continue to develop, develop new technologies, but it has completely changed today. 
Many people uh, discussed the importance of power efficiency, low power consumption in semiconductor, but not only that, we also have to use environmentally friendly materials. And in every aspect, we have to uh, be concerned about the environment. And that is at least uh, one major change from 1980s and 90s when we had stronger Japanese economy. The second change is uh, the emergence of AI. This is a big difference. In the 80s or in the 1990s, we began to use computers in our work. I don't think computers were a part of our life yet. I think in the uh, 1990, around 1990, we began to use emails without writing letters on paper, we are able to communicate with the rest of the world with the emails. And it became very convenient. Now, younger people don't even use emails these days. And so this was another major change in the society. AI will answer our questions and AI will create uh, videos for us on the smartphone. Even when uh, one is walking, uh, it is possible to contact someone or uh, to uh, communicate. This was unthinkable before. Re fairness of the results reliability of the results are issues with AI, but without doubt, AI will be more important part of our life. So how to um, use AI will be a very important challenge. New technologies, including digital technologies, will have to be mastered, and the ability to think and ability to master these new technologies there is a generational gap. Younger people are more adept at mastering new technologies. So we, the uh, older people, will have to learn from younger people to use AI. And the third major change, and I think this is a very serious problem, is shrinking population and demographic change lower fertility and aging of the society. In the past, population was growing, and uh, those who uh, won the competition uh, will become leaders and will lead many others. And uh, that led to success of Japanese economy. But that is no longer the case. The Japanese population peaked in 2008, and now it is declining. But total size of population is still 98% of the peak population size. We don't really feel that population is shrinking, but in 2100, population will be less than one half of the current size, and uh, population estimate tends to be accurate when population shrinks. How should we develop things? And uh, we also have to think about um, the society overall, uh, population is uh, shrinking, especially uh, people at the age of uh, 18 has uh, shrunk uh, by 43%. Uh, it is now 52% of uh, 35 years ago, but older people, people above the age of 65, in comparison to 80s and 90s, they were only 10% to 15% of the total population, but now they already are 30% of the population and will be growing in percentage. When we look only at the number, then older people uh, should be leaders and should be the core of the labor force because of the sheer number. Uh, however, brain functions or muscle functions um, will deteriorate after the age of 20, uh, after 20s, and we have to rely on younger people's capabilities. On the other hand, Older people have experiences of both successes and failures. These are precious experiences. And together with younger people, we should share the experiences and think together. Younger people and older people, how can the two groups collaborate uh, in uh, development and in society overall? That is important. And in semiconductor technology, 
back when I was、uh, engaged in research, it was very simple. The、uh, question was how to make electron move faster and how to control the movement of electron. But today, well, you have to also control the spin and quantum device, neuron device. There are various different devices, and it has become more complex. And I think、uh, probably in the 1990s, when、uh, or in the 1990s,、uh, system on chip emerged. And、uh, it was much talked about, but now it is system in package. We have to think about package when we develop technologies. Technologies are、uh, more complex. We have to take into consideration various、uh, different、uh, things. You might think that we are living in a very difficult age, but as others mentioned, if we take a different perspective, It means that we have more options, more alternatives, and more people can become the major players. We have greater degree of freedom in today's society. We can take that perspective. So, within this society with greater degree of freedom, we are able to come up with creative ideas and create something that were unthinkable before. Thank you very much. From technology to broader、uh, comment, thank you very much. Well, I fully agree,、um, be it、uh, the older ones and the younger one. And also, female, uh, female uh, women h a s to be more active, but there is a woman only one out of five, and then 10 out of 50 in the audience.、Um, I wonder whether that is accurate,、uh, that is right or not. So, Kyokushia、um, knew. Um, employees fresh out of college, only 10% is women. TSMC,、uh, women ratio is 20% for new graduates. So I recognize that in Taiwan, more female is working. And Micro Japan in Hiroshima, in the same labor market in Japan, 44% employees are women, which means that the employer's awareness is affecting and、uh, that is prolonging the situation. So, IT experts or the engineer majors are the only ones who are able to work in this industry. And to begin with, only 5% of the population、um, is、uh, female in this particular area. So, should not be limited by this one. Of course, a population decline and also、uh, the aging of a population,、uh, that is one thing. But the population explosion is really difficult because food is going to become a problem and the semiconductor will not be able to solve that problem. Well,、uh, the aging or the lesser population will be resolved by uh, the uh, semiconductor a lot. And AI means data science, and data science is the one where、uh, the uh, masculine man working in the factory isn't the right.、Um, it has to be numbers, process a lot, and we need agility to notice everything. And that could be conducted over the internet. And、um, 24 hours of operation is possible using the all different time zones、um, whole, on the whole globe. I don't think that a senior、uh, middle aged man is the only one who excels in that th- th- capability. So 50 50 in the population, in the workers is really appropriate. And、uh, Higashi san, in semiconductor, Um, uh, the global congress that I visited.、Uh, the semi is focusing on semiconductor products as well as materials, and I thought that should be masculine. However, everyone talked about data science. So、uh, we are now in the completely different era. So stereotypes should not be kept anymore, including all of us,、um, not men or women, and we need to change the、um, stereotype. 10 to 20 years in the future, stereotype will completely change. d It is an era where everyone needs to learn anew every year. So, when you study in the university four years, six years, or eight years, and therefore the company r e l y on that particular、uh, student to hire, is wrong. So, half of the audience has to be women, and half of the panels shall be occupied by women. So, young and、uh, old is one ca- characteristic. s However, another aspect is the gender balance. Thank you very much.、Uh, there was something that I did not clearly mention, although I wanted to say was expressed. 
Now, we want to emphasize that diversity in human resources is extremely important. It is not a simple increase of a head count of female. It is to make better development and better society. Uh, the diversity is critical. And uh, female students here uh, among the panelists, I am the only woman, and uh, it, it was uh, zero. Um, what would have happened? I hope that uh, next year and onwards, I hope that the uh, uh, organizer will appoint at least two panelist members uh, from uh, women and uh, science engineers as well as other major uh, students in uh, major uh, have to be chosen. And there's another problem, but why um, uh, female students uh, don't choose to go to engineering? Do they really dislike that? Uh, no, I don't think so. And uh, in the mi middle school, middle schools, how to teach math is really not appropriate. There has to be more female-friendly teaching skills uh, so that uh, more girls uh, will be aware and interested in engineering as well. So in uh, Tokyo Institute of uh, Technology, started to open a door specifically for the female through the special uh, entrance uh, program. And 15% uh, uh, is allocated for female, and the remaining 86 is regardless of a man and a female. And uh, doing th such a system, uh, everyone agrees with the concept, but implementing this plan is really difficult. So I would like to, hear, Professor Matsu, how, how did you uh, achieve such a great accomplishment? I did it. Out of my intuitive intuitiveness, and I did not put a lot of thoughts on this one. Diversity, not limited to gender, is required. If you have a broad range of mindsets, and there's a higher rate of a failure, but there's a higher likelihood of success, and we can be able to implement a diverse range of uh, activities. As you are fully aware, being the president of the uh, institute's university, we want a diverse range of people to join a university. We want a lot of uh, students with diverse range of uh, mindsets. And the origin of this, as a first step, is to think about better utilization of women. Uh, I know th this expression doesn't sound right. Be it faculty members and the students, affirmative action is the only one who will make that possible. Well, the Gender Equality Employment Act was implemented and since um, 30 years passed and nothing has changed. And therefore we need a extreme measures to make that happen. There are many educational issues in elementary and middle school. Um, but uh, I am the president of the university, and therefore I implemented something that I, uh, I am at the discretion. That is all. So I explained to the faculty members and uh, administrator, it has to be very logic, but there has to be some um, leapfrog. And uh, engineers, happened to agree with this one. This is disruptive. It doesn't continue to be connectivity, but it is a disruption. And then for some reason they understood because there are sometimes happens. You have some idea um, pops up in your head. Wasn't that a case? Yes. Then there were almost no objections in the university. No. At the uh, Tokyo Institute of uh, Technology. No, but as is often observed um, around the world, that when it comes to uh, better utilization of female and also for uh, the uh, diversity, nobody actually opposes uh, open space. But the problem is a very old male speaking on SNS nobody watching and talk about what is the affirmative frame and um, do we really need to invite women into the male dominated world that is the man so you need to reflect upon yourselves and nobody have a courageous enough uh, to raise their hands to oppose uh, to um, find more female students but they do uh, something behind the scenes so that is a most problematic area. 
demographic change is also included in the uh, this second topic. Before I uh, was responsible for information industry, I was uh, responsible for healthcare industry. We would like to realize uh, a society in Japan where uh, everyone can be uh, active until the end of life. And uh, I also um, collaborated with University of Tokyo, especially with medical school. Low fertility uh, is a problem, but aging itself uh, is not a problem. The aging ratio in Japan, people above the age of 65, it is now 29% of total population, by far the highest uh, ratio in the world. In 2060, uh, more than 40% will be 65 or older. But this is uh, oh, wonderful. People are able to live uh, to the age of 100. This is not uh, uh, bad. And digital is very good. As I mentioned before, Prime Minister Kakue Tanaka 50 years ago advocated a reform of Japanese archipelago. At the time, the um, secretary to uh, Mr. Uh, Prime Minister Tanaka was uh, Mr. Konaka, who was METI staff. And uh, he gives us advice even today about uh, things 50 years ago. And this is quite precious uh, advice. Japanese uh, medical community is saying that uh, people uh, at the age of 65 should not be considered uh, older. It should be extended to the age of 75. People in the uh, 60s uh, should be considered active generation. Uh, and if I may say so, Mr. Koike, President and CEO of Rapidus, I, don't mention, I will not uh, mention his uh, age, uh, but he is very active. When I was uh, responsible for healthcare at METI, I advocated that people should be able to be active, remain active until the end of life. And that is uh, what uh, Mr. Koike is practicing. And people who think about 10 to the 18th or 10 to the negative 18th, uh, there are differences in generations, but uh, we should uh, merge different generations in Japan and in Asia including outside of Japan, including uh, uh, women, including different genders, then I think that will lead to stronger power for Japan. Uh, so uh, following that, uh, we would like to move on to topic uh, three. Uh, I would like to uh, just uh, spend two minutes uh, for opening a comment uh, for topic three. Um, Japan. NHK had a program on Japan as uh, electronic power, country that is very strong in electronics industry. METI has AIST, and uh, AIST had a um, research institute on electronics. It was the center of uh, semiconductor and Computing entity also had a national institute. We used to have national institutes serving as core of industry, academia, government collaboration. As Professor Kuroda mentioned, once again, we are trying to revive semiconductor industry. And uh, the efforts only began recently. But AIST entity research institutes uh, do we have equivalents of these national research institutes today? University of Tokyo, Tokyo Institute of Technology, Tohoku University are all making great efforts and borrowing uh, President Mas's uh, leadership and LSTC, um, which uh, Mr. Higashi is serving as chair. We would like to uh, utilize LSTC, but it is still only in the beginning stage. I visited Albany in New York, and I also visited IMEC. And from the world over, from uh, all uh, Europe, and in the case of the United States, uh, from zero uh, in just 20 years, uh, they have achieved uh, this level. Industry, academia, and uh, government should uh, collaborate to 
revive uh, semiconductor industry and should think about a world leading uh, research institute, how to establish such a world leading research institutes in Japan. I would like to see creative ideas contributed and uh, new industries uh, will be emerging. Uh, and what I'm concerned about is a lack of uh, equality. If we have uh, good ideas and uh, intelligence and uh, energy, uh, maybe we are able to overcome various challenges. Uh, quantum device, uh, neuron device, and spintronics, uh, these are creative ideas, but when uh, global environments are more arduous, uh, there will be controls on technologies. Quantum device uh, will have a major impact on economic security and national security. Apollo program was connected with uh, various uh, security issues and semiconductor at the cutting edge is also um, connected to uh, security. Not everyone in the world is able to have access equally. Such technology also requires a very large amount of investment and can startups have access to cutting edge semiconductors. That will be a major challenge. Beyond AI will be leading to new industries emerging, but how can we ensure an environment where everyone is able to access the new technologies? So I would like to ask Mr. Higashi, LSTC, how do you plan to create something that is equivalent to the AISD, former AISD? We are thinking about that. Oftentimes in newspaper or in mass media or even outside of Japan, it is often said that when government uh, becomes involved, it often results in failures, including in research. But over many years, I have worked in the semiconductor industry over decades in the United States and in South Korea and in Asian countries, there is an involvement of the national government and semiconductor industry expanded. That cannot be denied. And in case of Japan, I feel uh, that because of a lack of involvement of national government, semiconductor industry declined. New company, Rapidus, has been established and new organization LSTC uh, is has been established as a new research and development organization. What is the right balance for companies going forward and for research and development going forward? We have to identify the right target and pursue that target. And if we have such a framework uh, that will affect our competitiveness significantly. At LSTC, another thing that we have to be concerned about is that in the past, there was a tendency to be Japan-centric and there was a tendency to be closed to outside world. I think that is uh, partly because of uh, sufficient size of market within Japan and reasonable degree of technologies in Japan, but those were constraints leading to a weakening of competitiveness in Japan. Collaboration with overseas partners it should be pursued so we will be able to enhance our technological capabilities. That is important. And another point is importance of technological innovation. The exchange rate is such that Japanese yen is 150 yen to the dollar. It used to be 100 yen to the dollar, so it is a uh, weakening of the yen by 50% or more. When yen depreciate, 
depreciates this much, it will be beneficial for exporting industry and many industries should be able to export more and there will be foreign currency income coming back to Japan and we should be able to enjoy better balance. But that is not the case. And why is that? Cheaper yen alone is not enough because of cataclysmic change in the world. Cheaper goods are available at similar quality from other Asian countries. And when that happens, uh, what is important for Japan is the technological innovation. So with technology innovation, Japan had to contribute to the world. And that is considered very important, in my opinion. In order to realize that, the academia, government, industry will have to strike a good balance uh, to pursue uh, that strategy or pathways going forward. We are in the era to seriously think about that. Uh, thank you. Now, so, um, Professor, Wat Professor Watanabe uh, talk about the changes in the values, uh, and we need to take actions from a different point of view. And uh, I uh, was uh, listening to all these comments, uh, and uh, we arrive at the conclusion. So we are um, gradually um, approaching uh, the conclusion of the session, but uh, uh, people with a certain career will have to be fully uh, active in the society, and also the generation with a digital native will have to be fully uh, tapped into in the society, and each and everyone will have a place to fully utilize their own capabilities. So we are um, in such an era. So that type of tech discussion will not only be applicable to AI, but also for the others as well. Yet, once again, AI is penetrating, in, penetrating into every corner of the uh, lives of our, ourselves, and it is a very big, and therefore AI should play a very uh, good role model for uh, every aspect. And basing on uh, the discussion so far, I want every panelist to uh, give the in-person audience as well as the online um, audience uh, to give a message. Professor Dr. Higashi. In the earlier agenda, we talk about uh, the female manpower and uh, why we are so slow in utilizing the female talents. And probably the what men wants from women is completely different. Perhaps we want the, the same type of people from women, um, and that does not represent the diversity at all. There are some uniqueness differences and something that men does not want have all the time. And uh, there are quite a contrast in the private uh, lives, but when it comes to the corporate lives, people do not accept that. So. We need to drastically change the mindsets, otherwise we will not be able to achieve the genuinely diver diverse society. And think about our company, Rapidus. Uh, we, um, we have so much to change going forward. Now, next is uh, Nishikawa-san. Well, the other day I read I had an opportunity to learn about uh, the Chairman Higashi's uh, philosophy. He is serving not just being a manager, management of a, a company, but he is thinking about a uh, whole Japan ethnicity as well as the whole civilization. So I was uh, severely impressed. So I tried to generate the value adds so that people will make a cute to try to, to buy even if the price is high. So when uh, the company Rapidus was uh, founded, I've talked about um, the logic and uh, how to enhance the uh, resilience of a uh, supply chain, and I recognized the importance of manufacturing. But there were so many passion, so much of a passion that uh, Chairman uh, Higashi uh, was uh, talking about. I want um, 
Chairman Higashi to be invited once again to Tokyo University so that students will have a very close discussion with him. And uh, another thing, computer uh, initially worked in the vacuum um, methods and uh, matched with the semiconductor and uh, it was sort of the uh, brain located out of the human brain and uh, there are great semiconductor enable PC but the PC evolved more uh, with the better uh, semiconductor so that, that was a virtual cycle now a semiconductor met with AI and for the coming half a century uh, there will be uh, synthesis going forward. So that is actually the beyond AI world. So dynamic world that we observed for the last 50 years uh, will be uh, demonstrated once again in different way. So we are at the entrance of uh, another 50 years to come and I wish to live uh, 50 years more. Now, Professor Kuroda, please. Thank you very much for a diverse range of discussions, but being in my position, which is that uh, I am in the position to uh, supervise and oversight the university, and I ask always ask students whether they have a great ambition or not, be it semiconductors or others, that will be the starting point to begin with. So that actually reminded myself. And from the ambitions and tried to lower the perspective to the uh, on the ground, uh, when we tried to develop the technology in Japan, the um, universities in Japan are rather small compared to Europe and the United States. Of course, Tokyo University is really big, but uh, there are 86 nationally uh, built, uh, founded uh, universities, and uh, each and every one is very small. So each and every one uh, need to stretch a lot, but uh, uh, what it can do on a single basis is very limited. And therefore, university need to partner up in the similar research area extensively. Also, it should not be just contained in Japan. Like it's mentioned earlier, we need to partner uh, with the world and we need to directly link with industry as well. So such perspective is required. In addition, lastly, well, the last two points in regard to businesses. Well, technology development itself was ingenuity interesting. So looking at the 10 of the eight, minus 18th power, and that was really interesting. And now we need to apply that to companies. Now, from a university point of view, there are some deep dive investigator for the research, and also we need somebody to apply researches to the reality. reality. We need two different types of uh, capabilities. And the last point about the female, Tokyo University is working so hard on this point, but when I talk, there are so many, so many different types of women exist. When you work in men, it is for granted that there are diverse uh, characters of uh, people in men. Um, they are good at management, good are uh, very uh, cheerful, some are really dark. But when we look at women, we always look at just being a woman, not a different entity. And in a Tokyo, uh, in to Tokyo Institute of Technology, uh, we visited a uh, Ochanomi University, and uh, in the canteen, uh, there were so many small dishes. And uh, uh, we've uh, tried to implement that in Taidek, but uh, female students said that uh, women want a oily and a very heavy meal as well. So you, you should not uh, buy, uh, bound by the stereotype. Uh, Dr. Watanabe? Now, the whole world is changing, and uh, Japan, how much we can uh, change ourselves? And that was the today's topic. Well, repeating what is going on is not a wise decision. There are something that uh, we can only do from Japan. There are some type of growth unique to Japan, and we'd like to uh, move on with that uh, tragically. When you go overseas, unexpectedly, People want to learn, learn more about uh, Japanese, and they are willing to learn Japanese language because uh, 20s and the 30s uh, around the world, those people are grown uh, by watching the video games and the comic books, and therefore they have a very cool idea about Japan. The um, people in my uh, generation uh, believe that Japan is not cool, but uh, people around the world 
uh, believe that Japan is cool. We need to tap into this particular uh, assets of Japan. So beyond AI is something that we can highlight uh, the treasures of Japan and try to develop semiconductor uh, so that we can grow more. So I had no opportunity to discuss in that way, but that would perhaps as a new perspective, uh, put it in so that you are able to grow more in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs> and last but not least, um, Mr. Nishika, please. I was told by one of my friends who came back to Japan after three or four years stay in the US, he asked me why has Japan given up on semiconductor? Japan has many uh, good things. And from design to manufacturing to end use of semiconductor, uh, everything is available in Japan, which is uh, not uh, typical. Uh, and so that because of that, I realized uh, the viability of semiconductor industry four years ago. There are various strengths I met uh, Mr. Jensen Fan of uh, NVIDIA, and perhaps uh, he was uh, being very polite, but he said, Mr. Nishikawa, we are trying to follow Sony and Nintendo. And uh, their business um, certainly is uh, based on business with these companies. Well, games uh, were, um, originated, uh, some of the games originated in Japan and they are now digitalized. And I think um, these technologies may be deep uh, within our DNA. We have good assets from the 20th century. We should utilize these assets. As Dr. Watanabe said, uh, we should uh, realize uh, what assets we have as we think about the future. We should not give up. Thank you very much for those uh, encouraging words. Uh, it was a limited time, but um, more than I expected. Um, we were able to hear uh, many uh, things, including the affirmative action uh, by Tokyo Institute of Technology. And I think that is uh, due to leadership and virtue of uh, President Masu. Now uh, we have uh, come to the end of the panel discussion. Thank you very much for that very active uh, discussion. And uh, once again, please uh, send a big round of applause to the panelists. This is the end of the second session panel discussion. Thank you.